Hello and welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, and today we're going to be doing some unboxing. I love it when uh, packages come to my door. It's like Christmas, but it's not Christmas. It's just random packages. Of course, I, you know, I paid for them, but uh, it's still fun. These are all like new homebrew games. Um, very excited to take a look at them. Let's start with um, actually this bottom one here. Let's get these out of the way for now. This one is from uh, somebody's name, Scott Dayton at Neo Games. So let's take a look at this one. Oh yes. This is Spies in the Night. And when I saw this game and first played the demo of it, I uh, was very excited just by by its atmosphere. Um, it's actually a black and white game, if you can imagine that. It's meant to be black and white. Oh, very nice. So I ordered the full everything kit that you had it at different levels, and uh, some had more stuff than others. It's the box, Spies in the Night. A game as explosive as a bullet from a sniper rifle and some x-ray goggles that were packaged in there very on theme and uh, he was kind of nice he asked all the people uh while he was developing a what kind of stuff he should include now this won't be a full run through actually i shouldn't even be opening this i should be doing that in the review but i'll just do a really quick one i won't go over it super detail if he's got a card uh mine is apparently number 11. uh and a top secret actually sealed envelope um so i won't open this till the actual review of the game uh there's the front of the box back of the box spies in the night very nice and this i should be able to open it's not sealed oh very nice some million dollar bills instruction manual go through that in the review actual cartridge black and white art on the cartridge very nice i look forward to uh reviewing this game immensely so package that back up and go on to the next one let's do this one and it is from protovision it looks like i've already opened this one okay we have got the packing slip Oh, yes, Galencia. And this is by Jay Aldred. Uh, it's for the uh, Commodore 64. I've been waiting for a Galaga clone for a long time for the C64 because this was the game system that I had back in the day when I was playing um, in the 80s at home, the early 80s, mid 80s at home um beautiful box and uh, i've been playing the rom of this and it is just so much fun so there's the instruction manual we'll quickly go through this a uh glass coaster i think here L a sticker galencia sticker very nice a galencia keychain yeah galaga is one of my favorite games actually pause for a second there should be something in behind me. Hold on. There we go. That's straight? No. There we go. Uh, that's the uh, cover art from uh, uh, Galaga for the 7800. Uh, signed by Mark. I got that a couple years ago. So that should be up, even though you can see the light reflecting. Maybe I'll fix that next time. Um, so let's go back to uh, this. Comes in a Beautiful green cart. There we go. What is this on the back of this? It's got like a sticker stuck to it. What is going on here? There we go. It is actually a sticker. Galencia by Protovision. So this I have played already, but it will be fun to actually plug into the C64 and give it a play. Okay, this one is from one of my favorite places, Atari Age. Now, this is a big box of stuff. So let's dig into this. Thank you, Al, for sending this over. Now, it's 
been a while since I ordered this, but if I remember correctly, it's a good mix of old and new homebrew games. Because I took the advantage of just ordering them all at once. I gotta be careful not to cut into this. Uh, because of shipping is fairly expensive from the US up to Canada. So let's not put my address all over the place. So let's take a look at this. Whole bunch of boxes and carts. Let's just take it from the top here. Jump VCS. This is a uh, kind of an endless runner type game. Um, beautiful screens, just and and great smooth uh, horizontal uh, scrolling in this one. Jump VCS, Pac-Man 4K. Oh, amazing conversion of Pac-Man for the Atari 2600. Recreates the arcade feel as probably as close as you can get to for the Atari 2600. Amazing sounds, amazing graphics. I uh, can't wait to plug it in and play it and do a playthrough of that one. Here we are, a uh, lead or lead? Oh my God, I don't know. I'll have to take a look. Kind of makes sense both ways. Lead, probably lead, eat lead. A uh, great shooter. Some of my favorite games are uh, shmups. So anytime that a shmup comes to the Atari 2600 uh, that has, it has amazing, amazing music, uh, intro music or in-game music, it has amazing music. Stratogem Deluxe. Nice um, matching game for the Atari 2600. AVC, AVCS Tech Challenge. I don't know how you'd actually pronounce that. It's uh, the original is called Aztec Challenge. And I used to play the hell out of this on my Commodore 64. A fun, fun game and great, uh, great graphics as the pyramids scroll up vertically in the background as you get closer and closer to them. Alia Quest? Alia Quest by Ebby Vision. Now, I don't remember ordering this, but uh, hey, maybe it's a bonus game. Looks like a shooter. Uh, yeah, that'll be fun. KO Cruiser. So this is like, um, kind of like Punch-Out. Um, you know, remember the Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for uh, the NES? This would be the Atari 2600 equivalent. Very cool innovations on this. You can actually see through your character to see the other characters you're punching them um, because it does the interleaving lines of graphics. Very, uh, very smart. Holy crap, there's a lot of games in here. <laughs> Maze Craze. Uh, if I remember correctly, I, I've only played it uh, in a ROM so far, but I believe it's a dual paddle game. You can also use joystick. And you move your ball through the maze and try and get to the end. It's like an emulation of those uh, kind of board, not board games, you know, physical, physical game where it's in a, uh, they get this metal ball in a wooden box and you have to lead the marble to the end. B-ball. Now, that looked just like a fun, fun game when I saw it. Uh, you're, uh, you have a bee on either side and it's like tennis with bees. Strange, but fun. It does sound strange. Elevator a miss. Uh, very, it's kind of like elevator action except backwards. You're going up and, oh, I can't remember every, all the details to it right now, but uh, a fun kind of single screen platform elevator moving game. A star. Can't remember a thing about this. Can't remember but I did demo all these. I'm not ordering them randomly. It's got cherries and a flower and a pear and a pretzel. No, I can't remember a thing about it. Squish'em. Um, I believe this is uh, an adaption of Squish'em Sam. You're climbing up a, a girder, girdered building under construction. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of games back then were about uh, buildings under construction. If you think about Donkey Kong and stuff, and you're moving up the, moving up the building. But this this is a fun game adaption for the Atari 2600. I believe all of these are the, for the 2600. Uh, Conquest of Mars. Um, this is another uh, adaption for the Atari 2600. Uh, what is Caverns of Mars? Caverns? 
Caves of Mars. Caves of Mars. You're descending into the caves. Uh, super fun. Um, yeah, I was just looking at that the other day. What? Why was I looking at that? Anyway, I landed on a video of that, and yeah, it reminded me that I ordered it. Uh, swoops. This is a mini game collection by Thomas Jensk. Jensk? Sorry, Thomas. Jen? Jensk? It's a bunch of simple games. Uh, one is, you know, you're going with a helicopter going through caves. Another is you're a bouncing ball. A lot of fun, but simple, simple games. Gingerbread. Gingerbread man. One tough cookie. Can't remember much about this one. Is it a platformer? Uh, we'll have to see. Have to see. Is that the end of the box? Is that the bottom? Oh no, there's one more. Oh no, it's all the manuals. <laughs> there we go. All the manuals. We'll go through the manuals when uh, we do a review, but uh, here we go. Conquest of Mars on the top and an Atari age, either a sticker or a fridge magnet. I've got a fridge magnet up in my fridge right now and, and a sticker in behind for sure, an Atari age sticker. So many games to uh, to play on the playthrough on uh, some Let's Plays that are coming up. One more from Atari Age. I think I know what's in this, but I'm not sure. And I don't think it's what I think it is. So I won't really guess. I won't guess what it is. It's a bunch of... It's my dress. Let's not get that on camera. There we go. It's a bunch of packing peanuts. Oh no, it's not what I think it was. Uh, this is... Cobra Ar Super Cobra Arcade. Amazing, amazing game by Champ Games. Um, pilot your helicopter across 10,000 miles of challenging terrain. A whole bunch of ooh, pack in stuff. Uh, another Atari. Oh, this is an updated one. Um, a fridge magnet. Atari Age, new games for classic systems. Another fridge magnet. Ixion. Ixion. A flyer of some upcoming things. Aguna, Assembloids, Draconian, Panky the Panda, Scramble, Space Cactus Canyon, Ratcatcher. Is that out yet? No, oh, that's for 5200. Okay. Ixion. Now, I've only looked at videos of this and I could not understand what was going on in it, but it looked like a blast. Um, so I'll have to definitely read the instructions for this one. Looks like a lot of complex movement. And that is it. We have reached the end. And pause. Okay, I'm going to put him on uh, hold for a second because I have an update. This is the box that I was waiting for from Atari Age and it came in just yesterday. So let's take a look and see what's inside. I know what's inside, but let's actually take a look. I think I talked about it at the top of the show. It was a little while since I've recorded that, as you can tell. Different t-shirt. Pretty sure I know what it is. And Al let me know that it was coming. I am pretty sure I know what this is. And it's always exciting when I get something from Atari Age. Let's flip that label over. Nobody needs to see that. I don't need to blur out one extra thing. And packing peanuts. Okay, let's open up this one first. What is this? This is exciting. Okay. This is the prize that I won for entering a contest for the game Draconian. There we go. Let's get it into the light. Uh, there's the symbol, a 3D printed uh, stand. And here is the Draconian enemy base from the game. Beautifully 3D printed in green. And I believe a glow-in-the-dark stand. It looks like glow-in-the-dark. I know that Daryl Spice Jr. online showed his off. And they were um, glow-in-the-dark this color. Now, uh, what they did is they had a contest for level design for the game, Draconian. And I entered in, um, I think eight levels. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I entered in eight levels and four of them made it into the game. And I came in third place. Okay, I don't know how this goes, so I'm not gonna force it. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not sure. I'll have to look online. Oh, okay. I'm just going to place it. This may or may not stand up properly. I'll have to look online after. There we go. Okay. Let's dig through the box a bit more. Oh, beautiful. Now he's posted shots of this cover online already. Here's the game. So let's open this up. And take a look at the box. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Spiceware. Um, of course, this is made by... Move that microphone out a bit. Um, so this is made by uh, Daryl Spice Jr. Uh, this was released uh, not too long ago. Uh, actually, if you went to Portland Retro Gaming Expo, that's where its debut was. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it down this year, um, but definitely I'll be going next year. Let's take a look at what's inside this. Oh, I hate pulling back these boxes. They're so delicate. And they always bend at the top. This one's going to bend too. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this instruction manual. Now I'll go through it, this in detail um, when I do my formal review. This is just the unboxing. It's got the instructions. It's just like a Hayes um, car instruction manual. Uh, beautiful. And what else is in here? Beautiful draconian poster. And here's the actual cartridge. Beautiful. So this, this game is absolutely amazing. Um, this is the latest um, game by Daryl Spice Jr., Draconian, uh, based off of the... Um, so it's a, a home version of Bosconian, the arcade game. And I remember playing that back in the day in the arcade um, not too many times. And until he started working on this and releasing this, I hadn't thought of Bosconian in such a long time. And this is going to be a fun playthrough on the Let's Play... I'll be playing that tomorrow with Darcy, but this will be released after the Let's Play, if you can follow that. So, um, I can't wait to actually plug this into the Atari and give this a play. Let's get back to the main video. Um, I think I've gone through everything here, and um, so you can take a listen to that guy right there. Oh my god, look at all this stuff on the table to play through. I'll never get finished that, but... Uh, a lot of fodder for upcoming uh, Let's Plays and reviews. And we'll actually go through some of my other games that I have up there. Uh, some of the homebrews that I already have uh, quickly next time. Looking forward to getting through all these. And um, if you would like to send me any of your new homebrews, you can check the link below in the description box or go to zeropagehomebrew.com and I'll have a list of games I'm looking for, games I don't have, and uh, games I'm looking forward to. So I'll see you next time in the next video. That went well, I think.